Yeah, well, Loretta was a good friend, but many, many years ago, I haven't really seen a lot of Loretta in the in the previous decade, probably, except for specific shows. But she lives in Nashville, and I'm based in uh, Oklahoma. So, you know, we haven't been close like that every day, coffee, coffee or something like that. But Loretta, early on, when Buck Owens first hired me, I think she saved my career, actually. She was so sweet. Uh, I was sort of lamenting the fact I didn't know what to do about the blue, the electric blue violin that Buck wanted me to play on Hee And I was such a purist, I thought, oh, my gosh, that will ruin me entirely. But um, Loretta, so I was talking to Loretta about that because she had worked with Buck some and done shows with Buck. And she said, darling, you just do it Buck's way and you will be okay. He is your boss. So I started playing the blue fiddle and I uh, thought, boy, if Loretta says it, Buck says I better do it. And, and uh, best thing I ever did because it became a sort of a trademark They'd write to the girl with the blue fiddle on Hee Haw, and I'm still playing that blue fiddle. Everybody wants to see that blue fiddle. So it looked good on camera. The blue stands out a lot on camera. So uh, she was a friend, a friend to many, down-to-earth, common sense, and she was the story, you know, rags to riches. She broke lots of glass ceilings, too. Boy, did she ever. And uh, country music trailblazer for sure um we did some hee-haw together but i was i was a regular on the show a part of buck's band and loretta was a special guest on hee-haw so our our paths didn't cross a whole lot there but you know in the country music business you run into friends now and then all the time doing shows or backstage or passing, you know, on the road, and um, uh, she went from coal miner's daughter to very, very successful in everything she did, and uh, still was entertaining, you know, just within a year or so of her passing, and I was raised on a farm in a fruit farm, 40-acre farm in Idaho, and uh, my grandparents actually were married right here in Joplin, and they courted right in Grand Lake area. But I don't think I'm particularly best known in Grove. I think probably hee-haw is what um, the kind of claim to fame was. Hee-haw made a lot of careers for people because if you're on TV every week, which we were for years, um, that brings you into the home of many, many, many families. And people started to recognize me in the airports and so forth. Oh, you're the one who plays the, plays the blue fiddle on here. Oh, you're in Buckstown and all that. And that was what was kind of the catalyst. Hee-haw was the catalyst for, I think Loretta had already made her mark. She already had some hits and all. But hee-haw was definitely... You know, everybody who was anybody was on Hee Haw. You wanted to be on Hee Haw because it was a feather in your cap, in your career cap. So, yes, we both had Hee Haw as a part of our career, but Loretta was ahead of me, you know, by a decade or two. And, uh, and uh, you know, she's, of course, better known worldwide than I am, although Europe Europe, uh, there are Hee Haw followers all over Europe. They know me from Hee Haw. So it has been, Hee Haw itself has been, you know, it's made many, many careers. We just did Rex Allen days in Wilcox, Arizona. Saw Rex Jr. He and I were on Hee Haw, too. And so, you know, it goes on and on, and I just want to treasure these wonderful friends in the music business who have contributed so much. And to all of us, and of course, the music lives on. The recordings, the movies, uh, they live on. But we will certainly miss their presence. And uh, Loretta was one of those shining stars. 
for sure. Um, well, I just think she was um, she was a trailblazer in country music, but also for women in country music. She broke lots of glass ceilings and paved the way for those of us who came a little bit later, and uh, we treasure that. And she was a treasure. She was a wonderful person. And like I said, down to earth, a good friend to so many, and uh, wonderful talent, and a beautiful family as well. So we'll miss her. She will be greatly missed.